Yo. What up? Welcome back to the stream. Where's Coots? She's in her cat tower. What should we stop doing? We'll get there. We'll get to it. Oh, uh, tr hey, I'll be chastising. Trust me. Trust me. But first off, chat, how y'all doing today? How are the vibes? How's your life going? Thank you for all the memberships. Damn. Benjamin, Cinder, Finny with the five, Queely, Sassy, five from Corona, Woman adds... Mark Dropkick Joe. It's our anniversary heart. I'm glad you remembered. Mohiru, Cody, Chonker, Evan. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Why me? Thank you, the 26. Bro, I'm sick. It actually sucks. A lot of people getting sick now, no? Maybe I'm crazy. I feel like everyone I know is getting sick. It's going around. Not to me. <laughs> hey, not to me. I shouldn't say that. I've knocked on wood. Don't say I hope you get sick. Don't hope it. Square, Sal Alexander, Cycler, thank you the gifted, Matt Swill, McPacey, thank you the memberships, Evan, Demicles, Ivan, Maddie, Andrew, Kevin. Appreciate it. I got that sickness. I'm rad as hell. Love that for you. Bill Jami, thank you very much for 22 months. Alex Hammers. I'm doing great. I got done with a test crush of cleanups. My space. I've uh, been vibing. Had pizza. Watched the JC Jessen training video. Now I'm here. Keep shot. What a day. What a damned day. Why are we here? Because although March Madness is over, I've realized it is better for me to stream one to two hours than not stream at all. As long as I have something to talk about. And today, today I have something to talk about. Okay? Some of you guys are in trouble. Not all of you. But I have to chastise. What I found is that actually VOD watchers tend to like short streams. Because then they can catch up on the VOD with a nice little one to two hour stream. Thank you very much, Invisible Ray, Marcos, El Compa, Cello, JFK1, AFK, Sour Jelly Beans, Jinx Rock, Diego. Mr. Quackinson, Isaac, Major Swag, 50 gifted, uh, 50 gifted, uh, thank you the 50 gifted Alex Hammers, it's a lot of gifted, bro, anyway, chat, your playback pause, because your account's being used in another location, Aiden, anyway, chat, I'm streaming today, again, I'll be live on Sunday, if you do not know, Sunday, I am going to do a Bro vs. Bro against Foolish. The return of Bro vs. Bro. It's been a while. Bit of, bit of a break we've had, so... I think it might be the greatest gamer I've done a Bro vs. Bro against. So, yeesh. we'll see. Tonight's stream is going to be a little bit short. I had something I want to talk about. We'll get to it in a moment. But I have a, a shoot that I'm doing with uh, Lily Pichu. I don't know if I can leak it, but... Lily asked a few friends to do some shit, so we're doing some shit tonight. And then tomorrow will not be live. We're doing a recording session for Unpaid Intern. We have a cool cast, uh, so I won't be live tomorrow. So anyway, that's that's the next few days. Hup Flupper, thank you, the five gifted. Tulex, Scott, Future, Aram. Uh, I can I can only read this as kill yourself, but I don't think it's. I think your name's just Chris. Chris, thank you, Distorted Triangle. I'm Lefty. Seth, the scammer, just really soft. The scam merch is high quality. I don't think it looks high quality. What I've realized is Heather Gray can only look cheap. But it is high quality. So I appreciate you noticing that, Seth. Not paid. Timeless Place, thank you very much. Boop Snoot. I'm getting married tomorrow. Fuck yeah, dude. Congrats. Hope it goes well. I guess it will go well. Break a leg. Dude, uh... I... Good luck. 
Call the 23 months. Anastasia, Carl, Jordan. My God, guys, please. I've been gone one day. The memberships are flooding. Riley, Puya, Twist My Leg, Faded Panda. Nice low taper. Dude, finally someone comments. What if Ludwig had a low taper fade? Yeah, uh, I did get a low taper fade. It's not a big deal. It's not a big fucking deal. Yeah, I'm young. Although my fucking barber, dude. My barber, like, I think half of being barber, of being a barber is social skills, right? Like, obviously, the prerequisite, most importantly, is cut hair. You got to cut hair good. The second thing is, like, social skills, because you kind of, like, make small talk. And then I think when you get to know your barber, they, they can kind of know you somewhat intimately, right? They can kind of know your life. They can be a, a, a permanent fixture in many ways. My barber is making small talk. And he's going through all, like, I think his go-tos. It's my first time with his barber. He's doing all his go-tos. He's like, so, ch -ch 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 -ch. L.A. weather, huh? Ch -ch 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 -ch. It, like, rained a bit. Ch -ch -ch -ch. I'm like, yep, yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's like, you from here? Ch -ch 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 -ch. And we're going through it. And then eventually, he's like, uh, he's like, I don't even know why he says this, but he just goes, yeah, I'm the oldest of all my siblings. I'm 25. What are you? Eh, let me guess. Maybe uh, low 30s? Like, you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to fucking throw a dart. Because what's the best case scenario? You get it spot on. I go, yeah, I'm 28. He says low 30s. Not spot. No. No, I, li I literally said to I I literally said to him, I said, I'm in, I'm in my mid twenties. I'm 28. And he goes, yeah, high twenties, low 30. Same thing. Fucking 25 year olds, bro. S fucking 25 year olds. And then, and then we keep going. And he's like, what do you do for hobbies? I'm like, yeah, I've been playing basketball recently. Like I play basketball every week. He's like, dude, growing up, all my, all, all my teachers wanted me to play ball. Cause I'm six foot three. Right. So they see a tall guy. They want me to play ball. I, I got tall at a very young age. Uh, and then I was like, ah, couldn't be me. Right. I was just saying, I was like, ah, couldn't be me. You know, I was never asked to play ball. And then he goes, yeah, what are you? Five eleven? I'm like, dude, again, unnecessary, unnecessary to throw out a guess. I said, I said it really quiet. I was like six foot six, three on the license. He didn't even reply. <laughs> cool, man. And then. I, look, maybe I'm old fashioned, but I was getting a little mad because a, a dude pulled up to the barber shop, and I feel like he broke barber shop etiquette. Because while this guy was getting his haircut, again, has nothing to do with me. He's living his own life. He pulls out his phone during the whole haircut. I feel like that shouldn't be allowed. I feel like the barber is one of the final sanctuaries where you do not sit on your phone. Okay? You either make small talk or you've been there often enough you act like you are brothers from different mothers or you watch whatever bumfuck TV show or movie is on the screen. All right? You don't you don't go on the phone. It's an anti-phone spot. I don't like phone andies. I'm anxious. Then be anxious without your phone. AirPods is crazy. AirPods is crazy. I would walk out. If someone put in AirPods like they're grinding out chic on the on the on the slippy ladder to get a haircut, oh my god. Oh man, I I would say something. I would I would I would fucking put down my foot. I would No. <laughs> no, you do not. Not at my barber shop, no. God, you're such a millennial. Oh, yeah, man. I wish I was fucking Gen Z, always with the phone. AirPods in. Have a damn conversation. You know what I mean? You know, you know what my thought was when I saw this guy? My actual thought was, you know what? Maybe this is the future. Because, honestly, I think this is a job that one day robots will so overtake us. are just you every first hour of every stream, forcing everyone to listen to you, yeah? Yeah. 
Except the difference is a barber at least gives you a haircut at the end. All I do is leave you high and dry. It may be half chubbed. But what I what I thought about when I was getting the haircut and seeing the phone guy is like, I don't know if it'll be in my lifetime. But like in 100 years, will people even be cutting hair? Or like, is there going to be like a fucking machine? Like someone's just going to make some thing that you put your fucking head in, like a GTA character. And you go, Joop. and then it goes, and then you have like a fucking low taper fade with a blowout. You know what I mean? It's definitely going to happen. It'll probably be so advanced that you can just like upload a picture of what you want and then it'll do what the picture is. So barbers are going away. What jobs are even going to remain, man? I'm lucky, man. We're all lucky we're alive when we are. Because the fuck are people going to be doing in 500 years? There's going to be no damn human connection. The robots are going to be doing everything. Sex work? The robots are trying to do that too. Art? Art's like one of the first fields they're going for. Uh, We'll make some new... I, I, I feel like it's going to be... There's going to be like human-only art. I don't know what type of art it'll be, but it'll be like art that the machines can't do. Like with mud. <laughs> We're going to make shit with mud and sand and... In our blood, in our bones. Music? I mean... I also think, no, man. I don't know where humanity's last bastion lies. Maybe it's making NFTs. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's making NFT art. That's actually a really good call, chat. That's a good idea. It's probably making NFT art. <laughs> the dude JB thing, the 10 gifted gum gum. Hey, Lud, been having a real rough past couple of weeks. Haven't been the easiest to get out of bed. Just want to say thanks for the great entertainment and help me smile. Greatly appreciate it. Gum gum. Small goals, baby. Small goals. All right, goal for today, get your country ass out of bed. Maybe wash your damn sheets. Maybe go on a little walk. Small goals. That's how it starts. Marco, I think it's six months, chairman. All right, chat, I said that I needed to talk to you guys about something. The title's not a lie. I do need to talk to you guys about something. First, I need to tag the entirety of my Discord. Let them know I'm live on YouTube.com forward slash Alabic forward slash live. What if Ninja had a low tapered fade? Thank you, Ted Gifted Cheeksy. Got a promotion at work. Happy Friday, Cookie. Dude, congrats. We love a fucking promotion around these parts. Yo, I'm live. And we're doing this shit. And I'm live and really mad at you specifically. Daily walks help so much. I mean, yeah, vitamin D is not like a fake thing. It's real. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how babies are made. No. That's our last bastion is making more humans. Thoughts on J. Cole diss? I was listening to his songs. I don't think I got to the diss. I got to the song that says, we're hunting wabbits. <laughs> and that song was making me laugh. We're hunting wabbits. And then it would just be J. Cole dropping a bar. And then it'd go back to a cartoon voice. Scary, scary. Uh, all right, chat, chat, chat. If you guys do not know, I have a place. Let's get serious. Cut the sound. Cut the sound. Cut the sound. I have a place that many people meet up to discuss things. You might have heard of it. It is my subreddit. Recently, we talked about one of the biggest posts on my subreddit about how I helped somebody get laid. It was a somewhat awkward story, but ultimately pretty funny. However, there is a new big post on my subreddit, biggest post of the week, and we got to talk about it. Because about... I think a year ago I made a YouTube short let me see if I can find it I made a YouTube short 
about this group of guys. Here it is. I found out why legally they have to say, do not try this at home anytime you see a dangerous stunt on TV. A few months ago, I ran a chess boxing event. You don't have to know the specifics, but basically it's this. Big shots landed for both fighters so oh, oh, If we hit 5 million subscribers, I'll do another chess boxing event. Anyway, I thought everything was going great after the I might have lied about that event until I looked at my subreddit and I saw somebody post this. We had a chess boxing tournament in an abandoned factory. Because of my chess boxing event, they decided to make a fight club in a concrete warehouse with a bunch of teenagers in zero oversight. Kind of badass, but also brain dead stupid. And that's why. Great loop, Ludwig. Nobody does it like you. Yeah. Remember this? It's one of my most viewed short. It has 17 million views. It's literally the fourth biggest short I've ever made. And it's about how somebody did that. They did it again. Chess boxing in an abandoned factory 2024, year two. And, dude, look at... Dude, bro, look at this. Look at the state of this, man. This isn't... This isn't... Look at this. Look at the ring. The ring is four fold-out chairs with a, with a rope. It's not even taut. It's not a taut rope. I don't even know why they're using gloves. What are they pretending here? They got a chessboard over here. And they got, they got the crew pulled up. Like they're dropping a Midwest emo album. Other posts got taken down, assuming because of blood in the post. What? I didn't even see this. <laughs> what? What? We use mats this year. I, d I don't even think you can say that. I don't even think you can say that. The damn futons they sleep on in Japan are thicker than this. This is like the equivalent of putting a towel down. We used mats this year and had a first aid kit. What is that going to do? In case anyone got hurt, no one did. No one got hurt. You punch each other in the face, nobody got hurt? We're going to plan out even more for next year. No! No, man! Have a larger arena and no chairs to hold up the ropes. So you just put the rope on the ground? <laughs> Here's what you do. How about you just draw a fucking square around in chalk and call it a day. And then just box in the chalk because it's white, which is the same color as the pads. Before anyone asks, we did use gloves, headgear, and mouth guards. That wasn't our first questions. Our first questions is, did this happen because of the brain damage from the first one? And when you did the first one, what brain damage caused that one? <laughs> you should have shown up with a camera and done commentary. Boom chess boxing okay. too. No, that would not. Before anyone asked you, did you use gloves, headgear, and mouth guards? So it was as safe as we can get. That's, that's crazy. That is crazy that that is the, the, what you think is the ceiling. As safe as we can get. You can get it safer. That's not the safest you can get it. You, you didn't like. That's crazy to me. As safe as we can get. You know there's boxing gyms, right? That you can like rent out, like real ones where people box, and you can go to the boxing gym where they spar, and you can say, Hey, can I use your gym to spar in? You could do that. That's a thing. That costs money. Dude, offer to fucking clean their gym up or some shit. There's ways to do it. Everyone consented, and we have it on recording of the consent. So this shit ain't illegal. Dude, that can't. Imagine the lawsuit, and it's like this fucker, and this dude's name's like Derek. Yo, what up? I'm Derek, a.k.a. D-Bone. Uh, today I'm fighting Alex the Machine Cortez, uh, and I do consent to this fight. And then his head hits the fucking concrete, and he can't speak without whistling. And they're in the courtroom, and his parents are playing the video. 
oh well yeah i guess you know uh, yeah a d-bone did do it so i guess alex the machine does actually get away with this one scotch free it's unlucky <laughs> nothing you can do about it uh, what a bummer what a bummer see you losers next year for year three is that how it works i don't think that is how it works by the way Mutual combat laws. Certain states allow for mutual combat laws. I think specifically, yeah, it's Washington and Texas. So in the states of Washington and, and Texas, you guys can do this mutual combat that you're talking about. Uh, it's right here. Mutual combat, a term coined in the U.S. Shout out to the USA, baby. Occurs when two individuals intentionally and consensually engage in a fair fight while not hurting any bystanders or damaging any property. There's numerous cases where the concept was successful used, successfully used in defense of the accused. In some cases, mutual combat may result in killings. Maybe like uh, if you're doing it on concrete. Uh, what is this? Oliver Martinez engaged in mutual combat. In 2014, after Zac Efron had engaged in a fight in Skid Row, law enforcement officials did not make any arrests because they viewed it as mutual combat. Uh, the states where it is specifically legal is, it looks like Oregon. Oregon laws bans mutual combat. Oh, so never mind. Not Oregon. But for sure, Washington and Texas. So if you're in Washington or Texas, I think you're chill. Or Canada. If you're in Oregon, it is, just so you know, not scotch-free. Scotch, by the way, is the tape brand. So I should have said Scott Free. Sorry, I'm bilingual. It is what it is. I just know so many languages. I don't know what to say. It's a very, uh, very multicultural. Y'all motherfuckers going to get Ludwig sued. I can already see it in the news. 17-year-old died last Saturday in an abandoned factory after participating in a game they called chess boxing. When we asked the participants and organizers on how they came up with the dangerous sport... They said that they were inspired by YouTuber Ludwig. Ludwig Ogren, or famously known as YouTuber, uh, Ludwig is a YouTube streamer who uh, organizes big events uh, such as this. We talked to the family of the victim, and they had no idea their son was participating in this type of game. They're planning on suing the organizers of the event, the participants, and Mr. Ogren as well. We tried reaching out to Mr. Ogren, but we're still waiting on a response. Okay. We all consented and have it on record, which in the state we did is legally binding. Oh, okay, maybe they're in Washington or Texas. We've narrowed you down, fuckers. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fucking get Rainbolt on the case. I'm going to send Rainbolt this picture. You're in Washington or Texas. Give him about 35 minutes. I'm going to pull up to, ch uh, to Chess Boxing 3. I'm not even going to shut it down. I'm just going to beat your all asses until till, <laughs> till you realize it's a bad idea. I'm going to train for one year to, to beat the sense into you. <laughs> also, let us disclaimers on his events not to do it, and they have trained professionals on scene. Blah, blah. So we would have no case against I genuinely think this is a bad idea to react to. It feels like you're encouraging it for next year. This really? is super dangerous, like someone could die dangerous. Uh, Yeah, I think I've said that many times. I mean, look, I can have a more serious voice on, but I think we are all quite aware of that. I don't... Unless your media literacy is on the all low and low. Uh, buddy, I'm sorry. It doesn't matter if you have it on record. Some sketchy setup like this with no medical staff. Here's what you can do. All right? Here's what you can do. Is rent out a damn gym. Okay? Rent out a damn boxing gym, first off. And second off, just have like a paramedic ready. Like, one of your fucking friend's cousins is probably a paramedic. Or knows a paramedic. You know? The degrees of separation from humans to a paramedic or a nurse... Is usually very low. That costs money? Then fucking save up. I don't give a shit. Some things cost money. Get the money. You know what we don't say in life? Is like, oh, dude, oh, man, how do I get a car without money? What if I stole a car? You just do the right thing. You get, you save up this money and you buy a damn car. TTS sounded. I genuinely think this is a bad idea to read to. It feels like you're encouraging it for next year. This is super right, dangerous. Relax. Like someone could die oh, dangerous. Don't use the fucking Rick or Morty voice. Uh, look, I think uh, I think the it costs money excuse is actually brain dead. I don't think it is smart to save money on your on your on your health. I don't think like 
Like, I don't, I don't buy the argument of, actually, no, Ludwig, it's not worth the dollars it would cost to rent out a boxing facility. It is better to do it on the concrete in an abandoned warehouse. And I think the all right millionaires is like, first off, you wouldn't even be here in the first place. So <laughs> what are you fucking talking about? As if you would ever chess box, sit your ass down for a moment. And to the people who are in this, they clearly are passionate about this. They've done it two years in a row. They're willing to punch each other and get punched in the face. Why not just work a little bit over the next year and group up money together to rent out a boxing ring? It's not thousands of dollars. I don't get it. Absolutely not. Pay for them? Are you brain dead? Give money to the people who are fighting each other in a warehouse who are inspired by my event? Oh, that's really smart, dude. You're cooking with this one. <laughs> Man, some of you guys are dumb as shit. <laughs> yeah, fund the underground boxing operation. That's sick. <laughs> you guys are... You guys are cooking. Lotso out of touch? Don't act like you're here. Uh, if Call me out of touch if I can't get the price of a Costco group of strawberries. You're not chess boxing. What? You've never been to a goddamn boxing gym. You don't know how much it costs. <laughs> you're just I think you're just trying to fight against a force for the sake of doing it. Now look, first advice, easy. Don't do it. Clearly that didn't work last time. They're still doing it, and they're talking about a year three already. So fellas, just fucking just save up. Save up, do it right. Do it right. Just do it right. Why not? Why not do it a little right? Can't hurt. You're just jealous they got year two off the ground? Okay, that's a timeout. <laughs> no, because, hey, that's actually too far. That's five minutes. That's five minutes. We're poor. You're not in the group! Uh, what, what are you fucking projecting as if you were the fucker? <laughs> I'm sorry I, I, that you're broke. You're not, you're not here, man. But I think the four motherfuckers... Who have the diligence and dedication to film themselves saying, I agree to getting punched in the face by Alex the Machine Cortez and Derek Dog D-Dog. Should also have the diligence to fucking do it right. That's all I'm saying. Did you learn nothing from Fight Club? After last year posting it, I didn't watch Fight Club, but I did as soon as Lud roasted me for it. To be fair, we've been using gloves, mouth guards, and headgear. Dude, the rule of Fight Club is to not talk about it. <laughs> that is the rule. Because the main issue that will happen to you in life is is the legality of it. Dante Bio, I think it's five. I won't believe they actually did it till they dropped footage of a round. Please don't do that. Follow the rules of Fight Club. In the other post, I asked if there was some medical training present with you, uh, someone with medical training present for you. You replied saying there was headgear involved. Even headgear, you can receive a concussion. Yeah, I know it is stupid, but we are as cautious as we can be. <laughs> okay, uh, you got to stop saying we're as cautious as we can be. It's just not, it's just not true. Staying silent about this wouldn't help. Knuckleheads are already doing it anyways. Best to give advice on how to do it safely. Same idea as sex ed, I think. I This is my sexual education, but instead it is chess boxing education. Some of the chatters are actually brain dead. As someone who did boxing, there is a lot that can go wrong. It oh, yeah. is so easy to get injured, not to mention the permanent brain damage you can do. Oh, this yeah. is not even talking about the legality of it off. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, They'd be a crazy undercard? Never. 
I will say right now, proudly say it, I will never fund them or I will never platform them. Because the goal is not to find a group of ragtag friends and then say, hey, what you did is good. Here is your reward for it. That would actually be too far. Ludwig broke my wrists. Okay. <laughs> I guess someone from chess boxing uh, in the warehouse defected. This is the second highest post. Uh, <laughs> Wonder what happened here, folks. Wonder what happened here. Sunday night, I was watching Ludwig stream while finishing up some late night lab work. When it was time to go home, I didn't want to stop watching the stream. I usually one use my one wheel to get home. Is that that thing with? Yeah, one wheel. Okay, yeah, I think I think we've all seen these before. I've never understood why someone would become a one-wheel user as opposed to, like, normal vehicles. I digress. I've gotten pretty confident on it, so I decided to put on my earbuds and listen to the stream on my way home. This was going fine until my one-wheel decided it was time to turn off while I was riding down a hill. I probably wouldn't have been able to get off. I probably would have been able to just get off and catch myself if I wasn't, uh, at that moment, paying way more attention to the stream. But since I was not paying attention, I was thrown off and broke both wrists. Wow. I blame Ludwig for making too good of content. If it wasn't for him, I would have been able to ignore it and pay attention to my ride home. And I wouldn't have a Cassidy charm right now. Sorry if the grammar's off. I have to use... <laughs> Dude, that's actually so sad. I have to use voice to text to do all this. I'm not the asshole. I'm not... what, Dude, Where? why am I liable for all of your dumbasseries all of a sudden? The exact sentence where this went wrong is right here. I've gotten pretty confident on it. So I decided to be less cautious. That's what he said. I've gotten pretty confident. So I decided to drive distracted. Okay. This is how accidents happen. Accidents do not happen from uh, uh, drivers who are not confident. They happen from drivers who are too confident. Whether it's a car, a motorcycle, or a damned one wheel. Okay? Overconfident drivers who allow themselves to get distracted or are taking riskier maneuvers, higher speeds because of their confidence, overconfidence is what it really is, end up getting themselves hurt. This is why, by the way, most accidents, you probably heard this stat before, happen within like a few miles of your home. Why is that the case? Because that's where you're the most confident driving because you know the street so well, like the back of your hand, you don't even pay attention anymore. That overconfidence leads to accidents. Okay? Simple, man. <sighs> Wubby leaked? Wubby leaked what? Why is everyone saying Wubby 7? What did Wubby do? What did he do? What did he damn do? Why are there Wubby 7s? What did you do, Wubby? He leaked my real height. He leaked my balls again. He's on unpaid interns. Cannot confirm nor deny. Have you ever crashed a vehicle? Uh, I've gotten into like minor fender benders, but the vehicle always drives away and it's usually cosmetic damage. But I've never totaled a car. Haven't you been saying you're 28 for three years now? No, I've been saying it for like seven months. He confirmed it. Cannot confirm nor deny, folks. What he could perhaps be, could perhaps be on unpaid intern. Extra Emily also leaked. Okay, what is up with fucking leaky, leaky leakers? What's going on here? Damn, Ludwig getting people laid in more ways than one. <laughs> Okay. Wow, I wonder what Ludwig has to say for himself after this heinous crime. Not the voice to text. Do not tell your mom about this. <laughs> lie? Why would you lie? You said one wheel and I thought you were riding a unicycle home. Did you get big for her? Okay, wrong post. Damn, bro, how are you going to freak your shit now? Wait, you don't know about the classic Reddit meme? <laughs> that 
That's the classic. I broke both of my wrists and I needed <laughs> I just needed to relieve myself. Unpaid intern. Ba 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 da, ba 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 ba. Oh, this is just a post about it happening. Oh my god, look at the subreddit kind of popping off. 1000 plus upvotes just for an announcement. I'll take it. Chatters being transphobic. Lot was doing the naming 100 women uh, stream and someone uh, and mentioned Caitlyn Jenner. A bunch of chatters started saying real women only and not a real woman. You can think of uh, you can think what you want, but you don't have to outwardly disrespect someone because you disagree with them. This wasn't uh, all of chat, but a large group of people just wanted to put this out there. Trans women are, are women. I, I doubt it was a large group proportionally, although maybe it could have seemed vocally large. But. I mean, we got pretty fucking good mods who clamped out on that. I find almost always it's better to just ignore or let the mods do their shit move on rather than make a stink of it because those chatters are few and far between and usually just reveal themselves to be like, you know, dicks and then it's an easy ban. You know what I mean? As opposed to making it like a fucking discussion point every time and then like, and then people who weren't even talking about it start weighing in. Uh, and then I also feel like it just makes it more normalized, you know? Like, my dream is I can just do name a fucking 100 women. Throw down Caitlyn Jenner and then just move on my day. Like, I don't have to fucking sit there every goddamn time. And be like, well, chat, just so you know. Uh, which we've had to do a lot, right? Of course. But that's the dream. But in this circumstance, I wasn't reading chat because I don't cheat. I believe that's why Caitlyn Jenner. I believe that's because Caitlyn Jenner did a re, uh, interview recently where she said trans women aren't real women. Oh, I didn't know this. That'd be a fair argument if it wasn't a live stream chat. Some comment I saw said that doesn't count. I think it was a. I think it discouraged Ludwig from posting more trans women because he could see the controversy springing up. No, I just didn't read chat. I think he might have added Chris Tyson. Uh, no, I just didn't read chat or think of Chris. <laughs> you guys go off on some shit. No, I just wasn't, I dead ass wasn't reading chat. If I was reading chat, then it'd be kind of stupid to do a name a hundred women challenge. Cause I would just read the names and then write them down. That's it. Anyway. So you're saying you didn't cheat? Didn't cheat, never cheated. I can't think of a single time I've cheated, to be honest. I keep that shit pretty A1. Do you see Maya do the name 100 women stream? She absolutely cooked you. I, I'd like to see Maya do a name 100. Uh, I would like to see... Uh, how about... Uh, Let's see her try a name 100 Pokemon uh, stream, uh, uh, idiot. Unpaid intern is a weird problem, IMO. First, credit where it's due. Stans and Ludwig have great chemistry. Stans does a great job during the tasks. It's shot and edited very well, and the show flows nicely. However, since there's no real prize at the end, the guests don't seem to care who wins at the end. In both episodes, the show just awkwardly ends because there's no ceremony or prize to give the person uh, that someone could be jealous over. There needs to be a prize. Keys to a company car, employee of the month plaque, a mug, a cup, a stapler... Anything really, just something to take back and show their stream. It's why award shows have trophies. It signals your accomplishment. So those who say there's the prize is get the job, sure, but they're millionaires. It's not like they're gonna be in the next episode as an employee. Okay, but this logic doesn't really track if you're saying they're millionaires and then you're saying they would like a stapler. So when they win, they actually get a handshake. Watch both episodes, no one knows what to do because there's nothing to be excited about. Just thought, no hate, just Chris uh, uh constructive construct 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 uh, what I really hate is when shows get too competitive. Not to say a prize is impossible, but I would hate a cash prize. Uh, cause like the goal for me is not to make the most competitive show. It's just to, for them to be funny. You know what I mean? 
Like if everyone failed their job miserably, but they did a really good job just making it funny, that would be more valuable to me than if they tried really hard because they really wanted to win the prize. Um, but having said that, I think Unpaid Intern gets better every month. So all suggestions welcome. A plaque's not a bad idea. Maybe put it in the back. Uh, I don't think I'd give them a plaque of themselves, but I would just maybe put it in the office or something. Uh, that could work. Employee of the month wall. Yeah, it could work. Somehow got mogul mail as first discovery. It's crazy that no one discovered mogul mail, but I discovered MAGA mail. Sorry for the late recipe. I was at school. Earth plus letter mail. Snow plus airplane ski. Ski plus water skier. Plant plus swamp. Venus flytrap. Tornado plus Venus flytrap. Funnel cake. Skier plus funnel cake. Mogul. What? The fuck? Dude, what are you even doing? Then try combining mogul with any two-word element or any person's name you already have. Some work and some might not work. Make sure it ends up with mogul coming first, like mogul whatever, and then combine that with mail. That's crazy. Oh! Yeah, you're right. Skiing moguls. The bumps in the snow. Why funnel cake? Hey, Ludwig, it's okay if you have QT stream again today. She is the better streamer. We love her. She is a queen. Any more pixels for this photo, by chance? If only she had her own channel where she streamed, that'd be amazing. Hey, man, I like QT as much as the next guy, but I'm pretty sure they've all talked about how you can you can't, you can like one over the other without putting their friend down. You don't say QT's better. You can say she's better than me. I don't give a shit. I think you need to review your SOP, Standard Operating Procedure Manual. As a LUD bud, you're supposed to engage and perpetuate the LUD depreciation. That's true. Why not do a study and name a PowerPoint on how to consistently raise the number of stream viewers without any giz gimmicks? What? What are you saying? What are you saying? It doesn't make sense. I interviewed 50 of the biggest streamers in the world and then made a PowerPoint and I think did exactly what you're talking about. I don't get what you're saying. Whoa, I scammed Ludwig. Wait, what the fuck? Scam crew neck, $58 minus $29. Long story short, I ran into some issues with the previous merch drop and a customer. Okay. Customer service kindly provided me with a discount code. Thank you so much. I knew exactly when I'd be using it. The scam way gets scammed. And then it's sunglasses emoji. Joke's on you, you actually bought a picture of the crew deck. <laughs> Dude, imagine. The fine print is that this is an NFT drop. Sorry, I believe in the future, folks. Sorry. I guess that makes me criminal. Is deadpan humor and sarcasm really that hard for people to detect? Deadpan's not for everyone, and not liking that type of humor is one thing, but the amount of people commenting things like, why are the, why are the so mean? Or they seem so uninterested, uninterested and don't, they don't want to be there. It's wild to me. They're on a comedy show playing a role and trying to be funny. Are these people really bad at reading social cues and body language? The answer is probably yeah. Just outright. Uh, unpaid intern feedback. It was great. That's all. Oh, hell yeah. I've got to say, Stan's in particular plays, in particular plays his part to absolute perfection on the show. Dude, I'm tired of Stan's getting all the fucking kudos in the world that dumb piece of shit <laughs> stands a motherfucker dude it's true though nah, dude this p that f he goes on this show all right unpaid intern and here's in in and he does great in the tasks he got he had two bits in the live show man i love cuties little grippers i love her little toesy i love her little feetsies i like your little piggy so much i like your girlfriend's toesies I like your girlfriend's little toesies and her piggies and her grippers. And his second bit is, all right, this ne next task is selling lemonade. And a lot of weak things we shouldn't sell lemonade to gay people. Let's take a look. Uh, uh, okay, uh, for this next task, we asked them to do a trick shot. Ludwig thinks a trick shot is when you throw a stone at a, at a, at a woman. Uh, and you stone them to death. Let's take a look. And then I'm just sitting there like, okay, yeah, that's what I said. 
I didn't I don't stone women, guys. I don't stone women. But is he wrong? Yeah, he's wrong. He did it like four times. Well, Ludwig, you're right. We took a look at all the women. Now it's time to look, take a look at Nut. Uh, and as you said, you're happy we have a white man on. You love white men specifically. They're your favorite of all races. Let's jump into it. Cool. Cool. This is fun. This was sick. <laughs> and then and then after, it's like, man, Stans never misses. Ludwig's kind of a dick, though. <laughs> Maybe he's the asshole. No, I think Stans does a great job. Was on the edge of my seat to see if Nut would be the woman of the month. Stans carries you in Valorant. His omen is off. No. Uh, uh, no. Wrong. Wrong. I wish he carried me in Valorant. I wish. I wish. So much. Thanks, men. There's no way this was unintentional. Come on, man. Our cam ops are, are godlike. Do you think I accidentally get that shot? Ludwig kind of saved my life. Wow. Just watched Lud's newest video, and on the weirdo Reddit story of a guy getting laid, big dubs, his plan was indeed simple. Anyways, a while back, Lud had a little problem with his stomach and made a huge deal of it. Okay, I don't like how this is. I didn't make a huge, I was probably very chill about it. I don't make like a big, I'm not like whiny. It was when he had his appendix removed. Oh, sorry, I made a big deal of my appendix bursting, which would have killed me 300 years. It was when he had his appendix removed, taking selfies in the hospital, acting like he almost died. Okay, again, I would have died 300 years ago. Not even. A hundred years ago, I would have died. Well, if he had not gotten the appendix removed, it could have ended bad. Anyways, at the time of Lud's little stomach problem, not little, I was attending boarding school, which sucked ass. There was 90 guys and 10 girls. Shit was a dry year. Don't call it a dry year, Jesus Christ. At the time, I was trying to find any reason to stay home from boarding school and not go back after the weekend breaks. Then on a Sunday a Saturday, a Sunday night after going back uh, to boarding school, Lud's vid came up. And that's when he's making a whole scene of him being super sick. How many times are you going to say this? Where Lud was making a whole scene about him being super sick and getting surgery. And then he was explaining the pain he felt in his stomach. And I was like, wait a sec. I kind of feel that weird pain in my stomach. So I got my dad to take me to the hospital. My dad was not feeling it. He thought I came up with something stupid so I could stay home from boarding school. We ended up sitting at the hospital for four hours in a queue. Not how you spell queue. Uh, during the queue. That's not how you spell queue. My dad went, uh, if nothing is wrong, I'm going to beat your ass. So I was kind of stressed. Anyway, nurse lady came and asked, asked me to show her my balls. I don't know. Hospitals are crazy. And then I peed in a cup. Turned out I had the exact same thing as Lud with my appendix malfunction. He got the surgery done and went home the same day. Got a week off boarding school. Thank you, Lud, for saving my life. I did save your life. Usually I like to say, hey, I didn't save your life, guys. You saved your own life. I saved your life. You were actually dumb as shit. You would have never known you have appendicitis. Motherfucker can't even spell Q. Your dad better have apologized. <laughs> yeah, actually true. Your dad should have apologized. Well, hey, man. Glad the appendix is out there. The people who don't like the yapping at the start of the stream are a vocal minority. Personally, I think it's the best part of every stream. I like hearing all the little updates and Lud's takes on things. I wish stream mods would start rejecting the TTS messages that chats ties them for yapping. First 30 minutes of Lud streams be like... They don't speak for the majority of chat. It was very disheartening for him to actually shift gears when one of the messages came in last night. I don't... Look, I... I'll yap as long as I want to yap. If I shifted gears, I just used the message as an excuse to pivot naturally. It didn't. I still be yapping. Spent 20 minutes talking about a haircut today. Looks fucking good too, huh? What if Ludwig had a low taper fit? Every good streamer. Wow. Every good streamer starts with streaming just chatting for like an hour or so. It's basically time to let people arrive for actual content. It's different on YouTube, I think. Madness, I think you're correct about Twitch streamers. I think YouTube operates a little differently because the title and the thumbnail leads to more concrete expectations on what the stream is. 
So if my actual main meat of the stream is like a Brovers Bro and that's in the title, and then people come and they're like, where's a Brovers Bro? Where's a Brovers Bro? Where's a Brovers Bro? As opposed to Twitch, where it's like the title's like jerking my big shit in front of you all, and it has like 18 emojis. And then everyone's like, yeah, we'll sit with whatever you do. We're here for it. Ludwig definitely makes up chat messages sometimes. Not true. Ludwig often says something, and then almost immediately, or very soon after, I just bought the scam hoodie. It was really, really worth the money. It arrived very quickly. Only $58, too. What a good deal. It was at Ludwig.gg. That website is where I bought it at. Anyway, sorry. He reads a chat message, usually something disagreeing with him. He then responds, after seeing this so much, I've slowly realized he absolutely at times will just pretend he saw a chat message disagreeing with him so he can explain his opinion further. Thoughts? I don't do that. Okay, I, I've done this. But I don't do it that much. I really don't do it that much. The thing is, I have a lot of people in chat. Thousands. Tens of thousands. And so usually, I might look for the thing that I want people to say, and then I might read out that thing. But then other times I look very honestly and I just wait for what people will say. But like, let me give you an example. If I say the barber called me 5 foot 11, I know one of you fuckers is going to be like, yep, so he was telling the truth, eh? So I might look out for a message like that, you know? But usually it'll pop up. The only other time I super make it up is if I need to shift gears and I'm using it to do that. That's oftentimes where that'll happen. He literally admitted to doing this. No proof. Ludwig is innovating. While other streamers still are getting one guide, he's moved on to getting no guide. You know where I actually found this strategy from? I think a lot of streamers do this. But uh, it was poker streamers. Poker streamers do this a lot. And the reason is one you might not think of. Poker streamers need to stream with a big delay. Because they're literally streaming their poker games live. So oftentimes their delay is like five plus minutes. And it's kind of weird to talk. And then people hear what you said five minutes later. And then attempt to reply to that. So they kind of just make up a message. And it's kind of hard to verify because there's a five minute delay. And then they reply to that fake made up message. So like if I was a poker streamer, I would be here and I'd be like, oh, new haircut. Uh, wh where'd you get it? And then I would go into this maybe story about my haircut that I wanted to talk about. Ludwig's a smart guy. End of sentence. I don't care to continue. Cutie was right about Reeves wig. We all knew Ludwig abandoned us to hook up with Michael Reeves, hence the awesome substitute teacher, our queen, Cutie Cinderella. But did he have to rub it in our faces? Cutie was right. He never takes us to Olive Garden. But here he is, whining and dining Michael Reeves before Lud takes it good. Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I did go to a nice Mexican restaurant with Michael Reeves, and he kept standing up to fart. It was very polite of him. Slime could never. By the way, at this restaurant, I was popping a bunch of Zins. Do not try Zins. It is a bad path. Even a nicotine addiction that does not involve tobacco will often lead to... Hey, pussy. Pussy for I was popping Zins. And I gave Broden a Zin. And it was like a three milligram, lowest dosage. I was like, Broden, try it out. And he, he pops a Zin. Instantly, he starts to get the Zingles. And then we get this big ass dinner. And he, he, he spits it out with like a, within a minute. And, uh, and then we get this big ass dinner at this actually really nice Mexican spot, Ramon's. Shout out Ramon. And then he doesn't eat a bite. I'm like, why aren't you eating? He's like, dude, I'm not going to lie. I'm fucked up right now. <laughs> he 
He's like, I have never done uh, had nicotine in my life. I was like, what? He's like, I've also never drank coffee, and today I had coffee for the first time. I'm like, what? Why did you wait? You should have told me this. So anyway, I owe an apology to Broden. Thinking of getting a bidet, but I don't know what type of toilet seat I need. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. I got nothing to say. This is just, this is crazy. This is crazy. Uh, I did this today. I went to a coffee shop. I got a coffee. In the coffee shop, their flusher didn't work. It was one of those press-in flushers at the top where you go, Phew. and when you pressed it, it wouldn't hit anything. And there was a bunch of toilet paper and piss in there. And I was like, well, this is bad. And I know how to fix It's a very easy fix. So I pulled off the top of the toilet thing. And then I all you have to do is like unspin a screw. And then usually there's a nut to keep that screw in place. Because like the length can vary. And then it just makes contact with like the flusher, right? I don't even know. I don't think you call it a flusher. But it makes contact with a button that flushes. So I do all this. But it takes me like a minute, right? And then like I'm washing my hands. And then I go out and the owner who sold me the coffee is waiting for me. And I wasn't like going to flex and be like, yo, I sorry, I fixed your... I, first off, you have a broken fucking toilet and I fixed your dumb toilet. So I decided to do the smartest thing I thought, which was say nothing and try to not make eye contact. Uh, and then he goes as a joke, cause I guess he heard the noise. He goes, break my toilet in there. And then I was like, secretly in my head, the audacity. So I said, no, I didn't. <laughs> and anyway, I don't know if I can go back now. But like, get your fucking screw right, buddy. Your button's all fucked up. I gotta say, Stan's been amazing on unpaid intern his chemistry. The last two groups have been insane. Shout out, Stanson. Shout out, Stans. This stream seems so long ago. One of the best LUD events ever. Would love another. This was fun. I want to do another poker game. That might be the worst picture of slime ever. Wait, I don't think it's bad at all. I think he looks kind of handsome. Although his face looks a little rounder than normal. It's usually a bit longer. But he just looks like a father. Who's that one dude that got hit with a no bitches face after Ninja <laughs> failed a 98% or whatever? That shit was funny. Uh, I think his name was Phil Helmuth. This is such disrespect. This is such insane disrespect. He is probably like on the Mount Rushmore of... He's definitely on the Mount Rushmore of poker players. To some, he might be a GOAT of poker. And he's been relegated to the... Guy who got hit by the no bitches face. I think his name was Phil Helmuth. He's 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 probably the fucking goat. He's definitely on the Mount Rushmore. He has the most World Series of Poker bracelets ever. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. It is crazy. You guys dogged him. The new Lud Buds will never know. Old Lud Bud. They will never know the ingenious design of the aluminum beverage can. Do love that video. I genuinely wonder how many viewers are left from that era. I feel like after the YouTube move, 90% of the pre-Among Us viewers left. I am from that era, but I don't usually keep up with the non-event videos anymore unless something really catches my eye. I still listen to every Yard app, but yeah, honestly, don't think there's many of us left. You'll probably find more in the Reddit than anywhere else. Run on sentence. It's the value of punctuation. Don't just throw in commas where periods will do. I think there's a lot. I think you'd be surprised. There's quite a few, few few viewers from... There's quite a few viewers who would see this post and laugh at this being considered OG. Who still watch. Like, there's people who've been watching for fucking five years. You know? And they see people who've been watching for three years calling themselves OG. I'm like, fuck you mean? 
OG? Bro, I was here when Ludwig would drink wine out the bottle and damn near pass out on stream. I was here when Ludwig didn't know what the fuck a fairy type was in Pokemon. So I think, uh, I, I, I think you'd be surprised at how many actually do stick around. I, I think what happens, what I've recognized, is viewership kind of works like this. Ready? This is what happens. I make a lot of videos. I, I, I do a lot of videos, right? I make a lot of content. So usually what happens is I'll make a video and someone will find me from this video. It'll be some banger video. It'll get like, you know, two, three million views. And a bunch of people will start watching me who have never watched me before, right? I'll get new viewers. And what that new viewer does after watching the first video if this is amount of videos watched and this is over a period of time, they will watch the one and then go Oop, binge everything that I have <laughs> because they've just discovered someone they like and I have like five years of videos available. So they're like, well, holy shit, this guy's a fucking gold mine of content. But then what happens is they catch up. And after they catch up, what is really available? Well, it's maybe the videos that come out on a weekly cadence or like a live stream. That, to many people, less appealing. So then they kind of go away, you know? And maybe, maybe occasionally they watch like, okay, oh, this is a cool event. Oh, that, that was kind of a fun video. I liked when he played Elden Ring. And then a good amount of time will pass. Usually six months to a year. And after that period of time, a bunch of more uh, shit has happened. I made a lot more videos. And all those people who kind of stopped watching do another binge sesh. Catch up on everything I've done since then. And then they go back to, hey, I'm not watching this anymore. And this is this constant game of me making content over a period of like six months. And then people binging that content. As opposed to what you might think of, which would be like a much more static linear growth where they're watching the video every week, you know, and it's very every week they watch and they're very consistent viewers. That happens, but this group of people is usually relegated to a small percentage, oftentimes stream viewers. Stream viewers are oftentimes this group. If you're down to watch the streams, you are more likely to watch on a cons consistent basis. If you are not down to watch the streams, if you are only a VOD watcher, you are more likely this. And, and, and just for reference, a stream usually has 150 to 300,000 people who will watch. A video will have about 1 million people. So there's about a you know 750,000 person difference in, in who, who does it this way versus uh, this way. There's 12,000 live right now. Yeah, I don't mean concurrent. But if you look at my VODs from my live streams, it shows you how many people have watched. And on YouTube, as opposed to Twitch, these VODs are watched a lot. So, like, if you just look through, a lot of them have that 150K to 300K number. It's actually pretty... I was pretty fucking accurate about that. Literally every single one is right in that range. And obviously, there's a few outliers, 500K, 750K, 100K. But for the most part, about 150 to 300,000 people will watch every stream I do. So what's up to the 150 to 300,000 people of you? To the VOD frogs, you guys don't comment a lot. Hello, how are you doing? Nice to see you. How much watch time counts as a view? I don't think YouTube publicizes that information intentionally because it would make view botting much easier. So I don't know. The answer to your question. I couldn't tell you. Funny enough, I was off your content for a while slash few months. I totally still enjoy your content, but I do love to binge, and I literally just got back into your videos through your Elden Ring content. Catching your streams now. Yeah, I can't, like, and I, I don't, I have no problem with this, because I'm the same way. Like, I'm watching One Piece. I don't like watching it weekly. I like batching up like 20 episodes and then kind of crushing through at my own pace 
over the course of like a week or maybe like a really long flight that I have. Like I prefer to do that than every week be required to be like, okay, this day I got to watch it and be ready. And you know, I would prefer to be able to watch it at my own pace. There's very few things that I will watch on a weekly cadence right now. It's only sports because the live aspect is a necessity, which I think makes a lot of people watch me live because events kind of necessity to watch it live. And then uh, survivor. That's like literally the two things. Survivor and sports. I don't even watch Shogun when it comes out. I wait for like two episodes to build up and then I spam two. And jet lag. True. But that's over now. So this is what is on Ludwig's second monitor. That's actually a really good Photoshop. That almost looks real. <laughs> that actually almost looks real. This Photoshop's crazy. Cutie was the best stream all year, but Ludwig also cheated. You don't get both. I'm sorry, you do not get both. I, I'm I, It's either the best stream of the year or I didn't cheat. Sorry, you don't get both. It is a dichotomy, a true dichotomy. Very rare, but it happens. Actually scammed. Uh, the item was returned to sender on April 5th at blah, 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 because of an incorrect address. Oh, my God. I can't believe Ludwig would do this. <laughs> Bro typed in his own damn address wrong and is looking at me as the villain. Like, I want to know where you live. <laughs> God damn. Latewig can't escape AI. People in chat are talking about Ludwig's delay in starting the stream. Some people are annoyed while others are enjoying the watch party. What is this? Chat summary? Is that built into YouTube or is this like an extension? Trash boys, thank you for the $2. You hurt me with your words. Mahir Patel, I used to watch Pre Among Us, came back after four years because I remembered you existed. Also streaming services went dry. Thanks, Mahir. In another universe, this is a porn thumbnail. <laughs> Linus, you got an awfully nice cock. I'd argue that's this universe. They have a ball hole cam. That's not pornographic. Cleaning your asshole is not porn. It's uh, hygienic. Foosley the Yard episode. Want to show appreciation uh, to the recent uh, Yard episode featuring Leslie. I am a Lesler, and I am as much a Ludbud as a Lesler. In my opinion, Lud and Leslie are the best yappers. And I mean it as a compliment. It was a good app. If you haven't checked it out. Unpaid intern episode two appreciation. Cute. Upvote. Eliana. Cute. I like the germa. <laughs> uh, all right. I think that's it. Last one. Scam merch drop. Let me tell you, charging that much for shipping is the real scam. All we do is we triple the price that the shipping providers charge us, and then we take two-thirds of it off the top to make a little extra profit. If that makes it a scam, then cuff me, officer. You found it. I thought you were going to grow out the sides. I am. But, like, higher up. But I still want it shaved here. But they went a little short on this side. Hi, my wife uh, and I are VOD frogs usually, but we catch your streams when we can. Can you say hi to her? Her name is Jordan. Hello, Jordan. Your husband, Super the Moon, would like to say hello. Could the comments be low on the VODs because people watch them when they go to bed? I know I do. Could the comments be low on the VODs because people watch them when they go to bed? I know I do. Yeah, that's probably a factor. You know what I, I hate though? After every stream I do, the moment it ends, there's at least 10 comments that are like, Just ended five seconds ago? My luck! And it's every time I see it, I'm like, bro. First off, the reason you saw it five seconds ago is because the VOD has now processed as a video and hit your homepage. 
and you are more likely to be a VOD watcher than a live stream watcher, and YouTube has recognized that. Second of all, this is just a different way to say first without having to say first. Okay? But I see it every damn time. Tilts me. Tilts me, I say. All right, real quick. Wait, what the hell? Hello, everyone. This is, this is your, your daily, daily dose, dose of internet. This is your daily dose of internet. Oh my god, you just lost a wheel. <laughs> He was so excited to show grandma his- Dude, that could have killed someone. Oh my god, he just lost a wheel. <laughs> Didn't that kill somebody in, uh, what's that fucking movie? Final Destination? Holy he was so excited to show grandma his new tattoo. Crisp. Kai Gregory Thomas Martin, have you lost your mind? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it that every time I cook? That looks so fucking good. Sorry, pause. You lost your- <laughs> Why is it that she shut it up different? Is that a flank steak? Every time that looks great. I cook. My daggone dogs hide. What is that about, guys? I don't know what that about. What is that? They don't. What they... is what is Rosa Park famous for? Oh, Rosa Parks. <laughs> Never met the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, to be fair, it is American history, and you're asking a British guy. Ask him about Man City's club in 2010. He'll know every damn player on the starting roster. Ask him about Rosa Parks. Man's is lost. Famous for? Never heard of him. Never heard of Rosa Parks? Nah. You never heard of her? Nah. This person was dog sitting, but didn't know the release word for the dog to start eating. Okay. Good boy. Take it. Uh, yes. Food. <laughs> Good boy, go. Go. Oh, it's go, go. One of my subscribers has a pretty interesting professor. If your name is Paul, you are named after this guy. And if you say, uh, my, my dad's name was Paul, so actually I'll say, shut up, kid, you're missing the big picture. This, <laughs> Tell that. this is the Paul. Do you ever feel like you're being watched? Cat learned how to use mirror. Don't eat the bug. I feel like he's gonna eat the bug. Don't eat the bug. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Yup. Buck. That is sad. That is actually so sad. Man, that is actually the most depressing thing I've ever seen. Holy shit. This could be a painting. This is a tragedy. This right here is why you shouldn't live in Canada. It took me like four years, but I- And then Canadians would be like, but our healthcare- actually a good point <laughs> and, and then I have to be like okay yeah it's actually a good point though it took me like four years but I finally got permission to share this iconic video my boy ain't here getting fitted for my wedding I'm gonna be a little slimmer by then though <laughs> a little bit so I'll lose, I'll lose some of this I yeah down yeah sorry right, you take this on back <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that's so dog. Sea dog? Down there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is sea dog. He has his own suit. This is where he got it from. Right, you take this on back. <laughs> Imagine sea dog sounded like that. All right, we're doing the cycle thon today. <laughs> What the hell is that? A cat? <laughs> this is why you don't park on the streets of New York City.
Nice. Nailed it. Oh, man. I've been there. I've been there. That's tough. Don't lose to a damn bird. This is how cats fight birds in cartoons. I've never seen it happen like this. My cats growing up shattered the illusion real quick. They did not Tom and Jerry it. My first cat was an outdoor cat. It would come back with a bird slaughtered at the neck. And it would just drop it on the floor. And I'd cry until my mom came home. And I was like, this never happens. You're not supposed to get him. You're not supposed to get Jerry. I learned fast. That is the end of this video. Or we hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Later. Did you eat the bird? I do not think we ate the bird. Hey, Lud, thanks for the videos. You inspired me to start streaming, and I started December 17th. I now have 105 followers. Thanks for the kick, and you're one of my three inspirations. Wait, wait, hold up. One of your three? So you're saying I get a fourth of the paycheck? I'm down. Do you see Young Nut's new music video? I haven't. He did one with Cody Coe, right? Young Nut Cody Co. Codefin Co. Can you sing Peaches from the Mario movie? It would make a good video. This is like what Connor pa Connor Reed's pants tweets out. This is like what Connor Reed's pants tweets out 15 times before Dream makes a hit piece on him. <laughs> uh, you should sing Peaches. It would be a good it would be funny if you sang Peaches. Go get Coots. Bro, open your damned eyes. She's right there. Don't you see her? She's sitting what like an alpaca? Koala D Space, thank you the membership. Have you played Phasmophobia? I think maybe for 45 minutes. It was aight. Can you try Snapple? <laughs> I've had Snapple. Respectfully, I know I like to call myself young. I am 28. I've had Snapple before. For whatever reason, when I was in high school, after soccer practice, I would, especially tough ones, I would get Snapple because I thought it would hydrate me. It felt like it would quench my thirst more than water. I think I had some accuracy in that because I think some of the extra salts and sugars helped restore, you know, maybe my my carbs and my levels. But uh, but I've had Snapple. Uh, all right, chat. I got a little bit of time. I got basically 30, 40 minutes. So about enough time to do my daily games. Again, this Sunday we're doing a Brovers Bro against foolish um so sorry i don't have anything else major planned but i've been actually having a good amount of time playing our dailies lately Ooh, uh elden ring is gonna start april 18th with squeaks april 18th is elden ring penis sight What? How the hell does this even work? It could be. What if it was like... Lose it. B m Roose... Roose it. Eh? Islot, Islet, Islat, Islut, Islut, <laughs> Islut, Islut, Is, Isot.
That helped me not at all. Islet is a word though. That's when hard. is the bro v bro with X to Emily? Are you afraid of losing to her? Ethan knows thing of the 20 gifted Scotty Hooker. Thing of the five gifted. I appreciate that. Those gifted are very kind. Am I afraid of losing to extra Emily? The answer is no. Could it be? Oh. Hoist. Like a flag? No. Wait, what could it even be now? Ruist. Your, your wrist. Umist. Wrist. Oh. It actually is wrist. Uh, no, no, no. All right, all right. I've been kind of getting nasty at the crosswords. Thank you, the $5, Archer. Ludwig, will you do an Elden Ring playthrough or a big stream again for the DLC? I'll do a, a big playthrough for the DLC. I'll do it in one sitting. But we're doing a Elden Ring playthrough with Squeaks starting April 18th. We're doing it in one sitting. Lud, do you remember YouTube Paradis who you rated a while ago? Are you going to say pair of these nuts in your face? Do you think I was born yesterday? Put a little respect on my name. Half of my uh half of my my content in 2020 was getting people on offline TV to say that. To talk about my dick and balls and shit and fart. How cute. Aw. Candy besides a butterfinger, perhaps. The fuck is that? Candy besides a butterfinger, perhaps? What do you mean perhaps? Sentimental sorts. Butterfingers. What are we doing here? Candy? Like what 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 is going on, man? The motherfucker who did this one was hungry as shit. Friend in a war. Uh like a comrade? Terrible uh genre for sublime and no doubt. Sublime? Is that ska? Turnpike expense. Terrible or pretty. I don't know. Terrible or pretty. Uh, What? Quick with the one-liners. Witty. Uh, Final four. Final four? Final four wins? Final four? Win WNBA? WWN? I don't fucking know. Is it all with an E, maybe? Fuck. Candy besides Butterfingers. Twix. Awful. Awfully. You're awfully pretty. Turnpike expense. I don't know. Sentimental sort. Soft. Softy. I'm a softy. Wix? What is Wix? 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 W X Y Z! Final four of the alphabet, and you're a klutz, and by the way, you're an ally. Come on. Hey, Lud, I live in a one bedroom apartment. My daughter won't fall asleep to anything but your VOD, so thanks a ton for being boring to her. <laughs> but fun to me. Uh, Good night to your daughter. I made a video about you, good sir. I hope it reaches your recommended. Topsy, I'd love to take a look. To answer your IG story, it isn't working. My hair? Wait, dude, it actually kind of fucking goes. No? Am I crazy? I feel it actually kind of fucking goes. All right, New York Times Connections. <sighs> okay, Goldilocks does do some shit with the bear. But I believe Goldilocks here means balanced. Which could also be described as maintain or perhaps even hold. I regret all that. Bed, chair, table, couch, things in a house. 
Son of a bitch, that worked. Okay, <laughs> that's crazy. All right, that's crazy. Dry, ironic. Dry humor, ironic humor, harbor humor. Bear hold stocks. Bear hold maintain harbor. There we go. Carry is a feeling. Leadership. Hmm. Tinder. Dry. Goldilocks. Full. No. Tinder, dry, Goldilocks. Ah, fuck. I was going to say things that cause fire. Hmm. Sweet tooth. Full teeth. Ironic. What's that speech? He could save everyone except for himself. Uh, ironic. Leadership. Hmm. Leadership, Goldilocks, dry Tinder. Let's just try it. Okay. I actually don't know how these connect. Hold up. Leadership, dry Tinder. Get rid of Goldilocks balanced in their Boy Scout badges. Tinder, dry, Goldilocks, leadership. Get rid of dry, full, lock it in. Ha, yeah. Wine tasting descriptions, my dick. Starting with metals, gold, iron, lead, lead, tinder. Oh, cringe tin. Dude, okay, no, first off, you wouldn't use balance, dry, full, sweet. You would use tannic, okay, dry, sweet, full, balanced. I would use tasty, yummy, yucky, or stinky. <laughs> uh, all right, strands. Am I blushing? Am I blushing? Compliments? Compliments to the chef? Compliments. Am I blushing? Cheek? Cheeks? Santa Claus, blush. Am I blushing? Makeup, makeup, maybe mascara. Mascara. Am I blushing? Mascara. What do women love? Turning red on red. Makeup. I don't see it. I don't see mascara either. Eyeliner. I don't see eyeliner. Oh, wait. E I don't know. Son of a bitch. Okay, I don't think it's makeup. Am I blushing? Am I blushing? Am I blushing? Che okay, so cheeks. Cheeks are blushing. I don't have an H. C, 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 C1, C2. There's only two C's and no H's around them. Cheeks blushing. Santa Claus. S, S, S. No A's. S, 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 S. There's no more S's. Cheeks rosy. You would have rosy cheeks. Or maybe red. Red. Red color. Rouge. What is this, man? 
What are we doing here? There's so many R's. Am I blushing? Embarrassed? Shy? Flirtatious? Like, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Okay, chill. First off, let's back it up. Is there embarrassed? Because you would get, or flushed. Flushed? Your face is flushed? Blood? Blood in your body? Fuck. Flushed. I haven't gotten one. Give me an F. There isn't one. There's not one F? Okay, how about embarrass? There's only one S. This is fucked up. This is so fucked up. Read. I spelled read wrong. Mean. Uh. Ma Dude, what is it? Something mm -y. burby, dirt, dirty, curt, dirt, dirt, flirt. F f is there an F? F, f, f? f is for f no. There's not an F. St stray. St star. Star. Strara. Strara. Star. Star. Starry. Dude, what? Where? Wary. Wary. Bear. Berry. Berry. Berries are red. Ooh. Berry? Strawberry? Okay. Am I blushing strawberry? So it's different types of red. So this one's burgundy. Fucking I got there, baby. I love that for me. I love that. Maroon is probably on here. Mm, maybe not maroon. What other kinds of red are there? Some red. Red. Cr crayon. Red crayons. Okay, what else is red? Something T. Tr tr trin. Tren? Tren is red. Is that true? Am I blushing? Pink? Pink, maybe? Pink or... Uh... Pinkish? Pink heat? What, what? Magenta? Maybe? Magenta? Mag is that maybe right? Maybe magenta? Do we like that? I don't see a... I don't see it, so no. Red. Man, red. Manned. Maned. Camman. Camred. Camred. Namred. Like Vietnam red. Okay, chill. Crid, critted. Okay, so there's no way a word ends in RT or DT. So almost assuredly, it has to go TR. And then it either goes E or I. What, what the fuck am I even doing? Tr Trella? Oh no, ert, ert, alert. Red alert. Red alert! Red alert! Red alert! Fuck yeah, baby. Okay. What other colors of red are there? Uh something crid. Crid. Acrid. A acrid. Why did I do it twice? Nat, nat, that's not a word. Tan, tancrid, tanrid, t tinid. What am I doing? Stop. Okay, we got three of six. 
it's just three more colors, right? Mm. Mm. Man, this is harder than I thought, though. It is just three colors, but I'm fucking struggling. Okay. Lame. Manacrid. Lanid? Lanrid. Dude, what am I doing? Moan. Erd. What about Ard? Like Ard. Tard. I'm not Shay. Card. Ooh, card. Card. What card is red? What card is red? A. A can card? A man card? Man card. A sin card. Tin card. Ton card. Sinan. Sin, uh, sin, uh, no, I thought I could do cinnamon. Sin, sin, uh, sin, uh, sin, oh, how do you spell cinnamon? Cinnam, cinna, fuck. How do you spell cinnamon? Cinnamot. How do you spell cinnamon? S I N N A. Sino. It's sino, huh? Sino. Cinnamon is the winnerman. Why the fuck is this impossible? There's another M over here, and there's man. But how do I get there? No man. No man. I don't think it's possible. Oh, all right. What else is red? We had strawberry, we had burgundy, and we had red alert. Red alert. Am I blushing? Red alert. What's red? We have a... What's red? Is cinnamon even red? It's brown. Tamala. Dude, this is fucked. Tr I'm at a... That's not even the right song. Man. It does say man. Seaman. Seaman. <laughs> it must be getting closer then. Uh, oat. Oatmeal. Oatmeal. What the fuck am I talking about? Okay, what's red? It's strawberries. The sun is yellow, which is a hue of red. Uh, roses. Roses. No. Roses. Blood. The body of Christ. Things I see when I close my eyes. Cinnamon. Sinan, sinanid, sinan, sinanid, sinana. Oh, wait, cinnamon. Cinnamon, cardamom. What's a spice? Turmeric. Turmeric? No. 
There's no U. What's another spice that's red? It's uh There's uh paprika? Oh, you know who's red is Man United. It's not you. Man City. It, they're not even red. They're blue, right? Fuck. Uh, what is red? This is pissing me off, man. I get mad. I'm getting mad. I kind of want to fucking give up, but I shouldn't. I want to give up and use a hint. Rain. Cran. Crane. Carid. Carid. None. I. None. I. None. I. D. What am I doing, man? It's got to be. Erd. Aired. Teared. She nared me in place. Cared. Card. Card. I feel like it's card. Did I already do man card? I did. What about a moan card? <laughs> what am I doing now? Min card. Man card. Uh, okay. Roses. Carids. Is that a type of flower? Rid of my loans. J j drain. 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 Drat. Drat. I can't get it. Dracula. Drat. Dan. I'm getting mad. I'm actually getting fucking mad for real. If tomatoes here, I'm going to be mad. I'm kind of mad. I'm low key kind of mad. Okay, so L A or A L has to be the case. Anal. Cranal. Drainal. Lan lan lanyard. Lanard. Lanyard. Lanyard. Cal. Ral. What am I fucking doing though? Fuck. Namon. Cinnamon. Cinnamon! Dersinal. What could this word be? Drainal. Anal. Anal. Cardinal, the bird. Fuck. Give me to a game I'm good at. Soppiness, a adjective meaning <laughs> sentimental, mawkish. Soppiness, a canteen, a noun meaning a portable chest. Better, a adjective meaning greater than. Bristle, a noun meaning a short, stiff, coarse hair or filling. Peerless, a adjective meaning matchless, incomparable. Peerless, a adjective. Bang, five for five. 
This is five bars, five spell checks. Discreetly. A adjective meaning having or showing discernment or good judgment in conduct and especially in speech. Prudent, especially capable of preserving prudent silence. Discreet comes from Middle English, influenced by Anglo-French and Medieval Latin, meaning prudent or separate. Discreetly. I think this is wrong. A adjective meaning having or showing discernment. There's two types of discreets. One is spelled like this. Discreet which would mean doing something somewhat quietly. The other one is... Discreetly. I'm that fucking guy, man. Diagram. A noun meaning a graphic design that explains rather than represents. Especially... Come on. Pervasive. Come on, a adjective come on. meaning existing in come or on. spreading through every part of... Come on. Valuables. A noun meaning a usually personal possession. Come on. Tumbling. A noun meaning the skill, practice, or sport of executing gymnastic feats. Come on! Five bars, five spell checks. Gorgon. A noun meaning any of three snake-haired sisters in Greek mythology whose appearance turns the beholder to stone. Gorgon originates from La Marathi. A noun meaning the chief Indo-Aryan language of the state of Maharashtra in India. Marathi originates from the Maharashtri Prakrit language, spoken by the Maratha people. Marathi, a noun meaning the chief Indo-Aryan language of the state of Maharashtra in India. Marathi originates from the Maharashtri Prakrit language, spoken by the Maratha people. Fuck! Very similitude. A noun meaning the quality or state of being very similar. Verisimilitude ori- Carrion, a noun meaning dead and putrefying flesh. Also, flesh unfit for food. Carwine stems from Middle English, influenced by Anglo-French, from Latin for flesh. Carrion, a noun meaning dead and putrefying flesh. Also, flesh unfit for food. Carwine stems from Middle Oeuvre, a noun meaning a substantial body of work constituting the life work of a writer, an artist, or a composer. This word comes from Latin opera, meaning work, through Old French oeuvre. Fuck! Wait, okay. Marathi, I was kind of close. I threw in an H. I kind of sauced too much. Carrion, I I was off. And then oeuvre. I did oeuvre instead of oeuvre. It is such a simple mistake, but a mistake nevertheless. But man, that was my best day for sure. Bandle, I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling fucking good. It's very hard. No problem. Hey, lad. Work's been pretty shitty for the past few weeks, but your streams and podcast episodes have been really helpful. Thanks, man. Thank you. P.S. The merch is really soft. 10 tenths. I've been hearing that the Ludwig.gg merch for the new scam sweatshirt line is really soft. And you guys should check it out. Ludwig.gg. Good job, Lud. I'm proud of you, son. You showcase the benefits of an English degree like no other. It's been a hard day's night. Seven Seas of Rhyme. I'll take you to the seven seas of rhyme. It could be Depeche Mode, just can't get enough. It could be Chaw, ch ch okay, yeah, I got it, I got it. I got it. Chocolate rain. 
some stay dry and others feel the same chocolate rain. It's the police message, uh, Roxanne. Tube shaped bells. Oh, Carol the bells? Tube shaped bells. Tube shaped bells. Ring? Bells? Tubular bells by Mike Olderfield? I got it. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> what is this song? Is this song in like horror movies? Oh, literally. My scam crew neck came in. The embroidery is really nice, not a paid ad. Thank you very much. It does ship fast, that's true. We got Tom Cruise, Kate Winslet, or Bell Billy Crudup. Sorry, Billy, you're not going to get one today. Begins with a vowel, ignore the. The Top Gun. <laughs> Uh, one word title, ignore the. Okay, how about Top Gun? That's three words. We can do Top Gun for this one. It came out before 1990. Are you kidding me? I can't use Top Gun for any of these? This is so fucked. It came out in the damned 80s. Fuck. Mission Impossible 3. Okay, easy. Kate Winslet. Fellas, I'm out. <laughs> Eyes Wide Shut Magnolia. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Titanic. Titanic. Almost Famous. Watchmen. Big Fish. Give me to a real trivia show, okay? Give me to the Daily Dozen trivia. After getting drafted 10th overall out of Georgia in 2015, this Rams running back run, won Rookie of the Year in 2015 and played Offensive Player of the Year in 2017. It's um, Derek. No, it's the Titans, no? Derek Henry. Wait, Rams. Rams. The Los Angeles Rams. Was this back when it was St. Louis? This is back when it was St. Louis, right? St. Louis Rams. I don't know. I don't know. Shit, I'm getting mad. Arian Foster. He's on the Texans. The issue is I can't put in like even a good guess because I don't Reggie Bush. <laughs> MLB. Primarily an outfielder, Dale Murphy, played for his entire current day National League East team. Played for this current day National League East team from 1976 to 1990 and won back to back MVPs in 82 and 83. National League East team. Give me the Marlins. Is that even the National League? Give me the Yankees. Led by Haley Jones, Lexi Hull, and Kiana Williams, this Pac 12 school won the 2021 Women's National Championship with a 54 53 win over Arizona State in the title game. Or, excuse me, over Arizona in the title game. Pac 12 school beating Arizona, Oregon. Okay. The only U.S. president to serve non consecutive presidential terms was Grover Cleveland. Elementary. Name the two celebrities. I couldn't. Jessica Chastain. Neil Patrick Harris. Is 
Snacks and candy. Layers, vibes, and unwrapped are all varieties of what chewing gum brand? Stripes? Fruit stripe? No. Uh, Trident. 14 years after winning an Oscar at age 11, this actress took on the lead role of Sookie Stackhouse on the HBO series True Blood. What? Who she got it? She won the Oscar at age 11? 14 years after? So she was born in the 80s? 94, 90. She was born in 83? Drew Barrymore. Name this iconic 1985 movie based off four clues. Fish Under the Sea Dance, Calvin Klein, Twin Pines Mall, and Mayor Goody Wilson. What's that one? Something. Movie. Twin Pines Mall. Fish Under the Sea Dance. Is it fucking uh, 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 Day Off? Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Imagine. Featuring Bruno Mars, what 2010 uh, Travi McCoy song I sings, I want to be a billionaire. I want to be a billionaire. 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 All right. That's not great. First off, Celebrity Mash. Uh, dude, I was right. It was Jessica Chastain, but it was my uh, Michael Fassbender. He has such unoriginal hair. This was Back to the Future. Okay, so I was in the right neighborhood. I should have got that one. It was Anna Paquin. Sorry, I wouldn't have gotten you. It was Stanford. It was the Atlanta Braves. And it was Todd Gurley. Uh -huh. Go from the Netherlands to Norway. They've given us a freebie today. They're not even trying. Netherlands to Norge. Well, you got to go through Denmark. Uh, which you have to go through Sweden. Are these touching? These are touching, right? And then to get to the Netherlands from Denmark, you must go through the neighboring country of Germany. And then you're done. Coscodal. Organic avocados. Haas variety six count. Avocados, they're not cheap, right? An avocado, five ninety nine. Way up, eight ninety nine. Way up, nine ninety nine. Jesus Christ. Time guesser. Smoking a cigarette, playing the guitar. All right, smoke players. Double diamonds. That says skull. Skull. So we're definitely in Europe. The question is if we're in England. I'm going to assume we're in England and this is like peak Beatles era and we're just in London at like some fucking fountain. One of many of the fountains that exist there. The Shard. Give me a fountain. I know you got a fucking fountain here. Here, we'll go this center. We'll go 1967. Uh, Six. Ooh! Bang! British singer-songwriter Vashti Bunyan performs at the Piccadilly Circus. Oh, I could have gone Piccadilly Circus. That wouldn't have been a bad guess. Good guess, though. Three kilometers out, exact year. Feels good about that. I do feel good about that. Okay. This dude damn near naked. Electricity, Portuguese, Lisbon. Mitsubishi, Tokyo, Japan. Okay, what the fuck is this? What is this? It is some collection... 
of gas companies who have all decided to set up shop at this area? Republic of Iraq. So I want to say we're in the Middle East, in the Gulf, probably Iraq, at some oil field that a bunch of different countries have loaned out before maybe Iraq was like, hey, get the fuck out, let us get our own oil. We're not going to be in Baghdad. I feel like we're going to be at a nice oil well. Give me right here. What year is this? Uh, we seem a bit hippie. I don't think we're in the 50s. Maybe 1969? 79, it was Iraq. My guess was far off. It was much further south. I feel fine about it. They always throw you at the black and white for some reason. They just try to throw you off. Curia Confederations Helvetica. They got a building for a damn font. Gut. Smoke Rez. <laughs> Huffwill. Geller am Berenplatz. Okay. It's like such a bad picture. I think we're in the 80s. And someone had like a twitch during this picture. It almost looks AI with that blur it has going on. I feel like OE should be a giveaway. OE is not a very common way to throw those vowels together. Uh, but I don't know who does that. Could be Czech. It could be AE as well. OE and AE. A lot of vowels being thrown around. Well, let's look for like a really populated area. I don't know too much about Romanian. Doesn't seem Romanian at first glance. Eh, actually, maybe. No, it's EA. EA Sports. Uh, What about Slovakia? What about just Poland? All right, fuck. What about Hungary? Helvetica. Curia. This is like fucking Latin. Gut smoke smokeres. Gut smokeres. Maybe we are just straight up in old fashioned Greece. No, because they would have the Greek characters. Um, hmm, Turkey? No. I'm just going to zoom out all the way. I'm going to click right here. And then I'm going to go 1988 and call it a day. It was 1980. It was Switzerland. I'm shocked. My location wasn't that bad, ultimately. Polio. They used to sell that? Elmer Friedman. Polio here. They're really trying to push that on people, huh? It looks like we're in Poland. We're in Poland. This is after the death of Franz Ferdinand in the capital, Warsaw, where he had a proper burial right before the start of World War One in the year 1918. Hungarian troops walking through a new, newly annexed territory in Slovakia. Man, I was, uh, but if I was right, that would have been so heat. <laughs> if I got that, though, man, I would have looked smart. Uh, okay, we have the International Olympic Committee. We have David Ferrer. Versus Andy Murray. When was Andy Murray at the top? 
before Federer started, right? $300 for a 26-inch LCD TV. LCDs were post-CRTs, but pre-LEDs. We're also dealing with pounds. So let's go, let's go London. And let's go 19, uh, maybe actually 2002. 2011, holy shit. Jesus Christ. Che TVs got cheap so fast. Jesus Christ, they got cheap fast. Uh, all right, 34K, not the greatest, not the greatest. All right, what country is this? Just for my reference, are we in Europe? No, I think we are in South, or excuse me, we're in West Africa. Senegal? To the right of Senegal? Could it be Niger? It could not be. How far are we from Ghana? Quite close. Just north, in fact. Could it be Mali? Very close to Mali. Could it be Algeria? It's Burkina Faso. Tough. That's tough. Give me a game I know how to play. Who the fuck is Prince Apu? This is the first video I uploaded on this channel, I think. I'm going to go April 2015. It was December 2016. How oh, I accidentally sponsored the best Smash player in the world? This was after Zane won Genesis. God, what was it? Five? It must have been... February 2020. January 2020. YouTube has a problem. I don't know what the problem is. I'm going to go June 2022. It was June 2023. Lud takes a lie detector test. That was June 2021. February 2020. Which streamer is the best laugh? May 2021. July 2021. Okay, that was a bad day. That was a bad day there. All right, give me a food guesser. Uh, Tour Doll Tamarind Sambar Powder. Oh, look, I just have to assume, based off the amount of spices, this is an Indian dish. I was correct. It's called Sambar. Next round, apple fucking pie. It's got to be American. Give it to us. Give it to us. Come on, baby. Let's go three for three. Chicken Yellow chili peppers, bread, milk, cheese, walnuts, garlic, onion, yellow pepper, salt, pepper, vegetable, oil, eggs. Uh, it's like a curry dish with rice. Pakistan. Ice cold. Way off. Sweden, ice cold, way off. Jamaica, slightly cooler, way off. Uh, Bolivia, borders Bolivia. We got there fast. Borders Bolivia to the west or north? Peru. Aji de Galena. It's a popular Peruvian dish made with shredded chicken cooked in a sauce made from yellow chili peppers, breadcrumbs, milk, and other ingredients. Ooh. Bink that one, huh? Uh, What game is this? Like Animal Crossing... Not New Leaf, one of the older ones. City Folk. 
Does this mean I got it the right? Is it the right game? What does yellow mean? Animal Crossing. Uh, Wild World. Did I get the right game? Is that what this means? Animal Crossing. New Horizons. Animal Crossing. New Leaf. I should have just clicked the first one the first time. That would have made my life a whole lot easier. All right, guess the Valorant rank. What the fuck is that smoke? Nice. Nothing worse than your jet dashing. This is a slow ass round. Accidental kill. Oh Ooh. my god. Give me diamond. It was ascendant. I don't feel bad about that. Give a whole lamp to you. Spike down edge. Heaven down. Uh, she down. We got lucky there. Let's go plat. It was diamond. This might be plot again. Or actually plot, I should say. Let's go gold. It was plat. Dude, if I was just one more on everybody, I would have gotten it. Uh, all right, chat. I got to go. I got to go. Like I said, today was a two-hour stream. I'm actually running a bit late. So thank you all very much for watching. I appreciate it. I will see you all at a future date, uh, whenever that date will be. Thank you very much for hanging out with me today. Uh, and that's all, man. That's all. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. Later, skaters. I will not be live tomorrow again. Tomorrow doing unpaid intern stuff. I will be live Sunday, bro versus bro. Okay? Not live tomorrow. We'll be live Sunday. Peace. Mods, if you could please raid C Dog VA's channel, I would appreciate it. What if Ludwig had a low taper fade? Peace.